Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of Dexter Season 6, Episode 10, Ricochet Rabbit, or the Fuck Pad, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it was funny every time he said it, so I figured I'd say it again. Uh, thank God, thank God the show found its sense of urgency, that uh, the stakes got raised, the momentum, you know, is completely taken off, and I'm looking forward to the last two weeks. Um... I'm annoyed. I'm still annoyed the last three weeks for just killing this season. Um, but if they can finish strong here, uh, which it looks like they're going to, then, you know, it can really, really help um, wipe out those three weeks a little bit. Uh, I'm still annoyed that almost that whole thing um, ended up just being, you know, almost wasn't real and everything like that. But that was last week. So just moving on to this week. Um, it was great that, like, Dexter, you know, was really just, like, on the hunt, and he had to stay... And he... How about, like, right from the beginning, him cutting off almost his hand and putting, like, the, the prints around everywhere, which was great, because all season, they've kind of overlooked doing stuff like that. Um, I know that was a complaint. It wasn't really one of my complaints early on in the year, but it was nice to actually see how Dexter misdirects people, uh, which they haven't really done that much. Um... But he it was it was just great to see him on the hunt. It was great to see him, you know, be just too far behind. Uh, it gave Colin Hanks like a sense of, um, you know, a real like mastermind kind of villain uh, way about him that he was able to stay ahead of Dexter um, and create a real obstacle which has been missing all year. Um, I wasn't really thinking about how it was going to be difficult for Dexter to come out on top. Now I'm thinking, like, he's got a real problem. Um, uh, so, yeah, so that was all great. Um, all the scenes with Harry, they did a good job visually with Harry in this episode. There's a lot of times, I think they even once had Harry at the top of, in, in the scene, in one spot, and then when he went into another room, Harry was standing there again. Um, so they did that a lot. Visually, it was just really, really, you know, just really nice, this, this episode. Um... And the whole uh, Travis talking to Professor Geller with uh, Harry behind Dexter at, at the beginning, um, you knew they were going to do something with that. Um, Dexter kind of saying that you know everything that Brother Sam said was nothing. That's kind of that's kind of weird. It kind of wastes uh, some of that stuff. But um, but still, it was great. It was a great. Um, it was great to see him like not really know completely what was going on. He had We had to figure it out with him uh, instead of us being a step ahead of him, which a lot of people were all season, especially with the Professor Geller um, being real and not being real, so that was nice. Um, yeah, and uh, Hanks's character having, you know, disciples, I don't know why they didn't do this from the beginning, because like I said, them just having... Like, multiple people for Dexter to deal with is just... I mean, it would be something different. It was, just, like, fresh and exciting that he was, you know... Uh, we get to see him, you know, kill some, like, a whole bunch of people instead of just waiting around to, you know, hunt the one guy. Because um, I haven't really even done many, um, like, solitary kills, at least in the last three weeks. I don't, I don't know if they've done any, really. Um, but uh, that was... Uh, so that was good. How about Colin Hanks, like, you know, I don't know where that came from, man. I don't know where that was all year, but he was so much better. He was so much more menacing. You know, he was just calmer, and it was, he seemed like really, really evil. So he completely turned it up a notch, and that was great. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, and, like, just in, like, one week, I now, like, see him as, like, a real, you know, threat. Almost the same way I was saying, I thought almost his character was just looking like he was nuts and just, you know, vicious. I see that now with um, Colin Hanks' character. That's awesome. That's great. Um, plus the whole plan to uh, use, like, I guess the poison to take out, you know, Miami Metro. So now, like, all of our main characters are in jeopardy. This is, like, they raise the stakes completely. Um, and this is what you're supposed to do uh, as the season comes to it comes to its end. Um, speaking of people in jeopardy, Batista's been captured. So we have one of our main people caught. Um, it uh, even helps out Quinn's storyline a little bit for this season, which has gotten tiresome, although it's still kind of funny. Um, 
that all of Quinn's nonsense, like Quinn should have been with Batista, and he wasn't, and now he's gonna have that on his head. So that's what's gonna probably like smarten him up, I guess. Um, but yeah, Batista's in trouble. You know, I don't want Batista to get hurt, so I'm, you know, I'm worried about him. And as we know, this show, I'll get to it later, but this show's pretty much ending in two seasons, so these characters are going to start being, um, you know, on the chopping block. Possibly, anyway. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to go on with that. Um, I guess that's, like, kind of the main stuff this episode. As far as secondary stuff, um, Deb and her therapy... Oh, Deb um, found out LaGuardia's secret and uh, the captain's secret. Um... Thank God she found it out. I like that, that she has, like, the upper hand in the situation, and the other two have no idea. Uh, I want to see how she's going to deal with it. Um, I hope she puts the other two in, her pl in their place and just moves forward. That would be awesome. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I hope she doesn't slip up with it. I hope she keeps it, you know, everything works out. Uh, computer, come on, man. What else? Uh... Uh, what Batista's sister is dating a complete like douchebag. Dexter like knocking him down was great. Uh, he's officially a weirdo. I didn't think he was at the beginning, but he's he's freaking me out now. Um, so it was great to see Dexter like shoot him down. It was great to for to hear Dexter call himself the Bay Harbor Butcher. That was just a nice you know nostalgic uh, thing going on. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I love this episode. Thank God. Thank God. Um, as far as the show ending in two years, I was reading Entertainment Weekly, and uh, the head of Showtime, I don't know his name, um, basically said that it's pretty much certain the show will end after season eight, and that the end game for the series started with this episode. Um, he said that the only reason the show would go after season eight is if the writers said they needed more time. So this is basic, which is good because this basically isn't going to be, you know, the corporate producer um, of, you know, of the company, like, really interfering here. He's just basically saying, I'm okay with it being done in two more seasons, so it's up to the writers, basically, now. Um, and uh, if this is, you know, the beginning of the end uh, with this episode, I, I like it. And um, let's see where it, where it goes. Uh... All right, I guess that's it. Uh, let me know what you thought. I, I, this one's a little bit shorter than the other ones, I think, because I don't really have much to... It was just... It was really, really good. Um, that's it. I can't wait for next week. And... All right. Later, guys.